There were some tense moments today as hundreds of people packed a CBC studio in Edmonton. They were there to hear party leaders square off ahead of Monday's provincial election. Polls suggest Alberta's Wild Rose Party is in the lead, but it continues to face criticism for a string of controversies. Briar Stewart was at today's forum. We have said we will not legislate on contentious social issues. Leading in the polls after a relatively smooth campaign, Danielle Smith isn't used to this. Whoa. Today's CBC Forum, Smith was questioned about her party stance on climate change. There is still a debate in the scientific community. A controversial viewpoint the progressive conservatives were only too happy to press. We need to make sure that our premier knows that when they're going overseas to talk about why we have environmental sustainability projects, that they don't deny climate change. It's been a bad week for Wild Rose. First, there was the candidate who said homosexuals will go to hell. Then one who claimed he had an advantage because he was white. Comments that created an outcry, including this one today from Calgary's mayor. What is even more disappointing is that the party leader seeming to say this is a freedom of speech issue won't just simply stand up and say, I don't believe in intolerance. It's not that hard. With just three days left to go, polls suggest that as many as one quarter of voters are still undecided. There was a whole lot of intensity because everybody on the stage knows what's at stake. I might have to do a little more research before I vote. With potentially so many ballots up in the air, some groups are encouraging strategic voting. If you're in a riding where the wild rose has a chance, don't you want to keep them out? Whatever the cost. It's an unusual experience in Alberta. We have seen people, yes, agitated, upset, concerned about various issues in previous elections, but it really hasn't made that much difference in the final analysis. This is an election where every vote literally could make a difference. Advanced polls open today, and at times there were long lineups. In the last provincial election, voter turnout was just 40%. On Monday, it's expected to be much higher. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Edmonton.